A quick update on Motorola and the Ready4 desktop mode. We can all share a chuckle that Moto's most expensive productivity phone from last year has finally gotten upgraded to Android 13 with Android 14 right around the corner. Now, usually desktop modes are afterthoughts for phone manufacturers, but there are a couple of Ready4 updates I felt were important enough to shoot a short video on. First, scaling issues are significantly improved. On Android 12, there was an issue where if Ready4 couldn't quite figure out what the size and resolution of your display was, it would default to this comically large UI. This manifested with some of the products like the wearable displays that I'm a big fan of, or when I would try to screen record through a capture card like my Elgato. Now on Android 13, the desktop fits the view a lot better. Ready4 seems to understand better what screen it's connected to. I can show a better recording of the desktop at 1080p directly through my capture card, and it still looks super crisp when we hook this thing up to a 4K display. All of this is welcome functionality. It's appreciated because the user doesn't have to go digging through settings or installing other apps to enable support for higher resolution monitors and TVs. The other big update, there's a new mouse mode. When you use your phone to control the cursor on your screen, we now have two options to use. The traditional screen trackpad is still here. You scroll around on the screen just like a laptop trackpad with two finger gestures for scrolling. The new option is an air mouse. Like the wearable glasses I've been playing with, your phone becomes a pointer. Where you move and aim the phone controls where the pointer goes and a little mini trackpad is used for selection and scrolling. It feels a bit more like a presentation pointer, especially handy when you're using Ready4 wirelessly and you acclimate really quick. The gestures feel natural for short uses. Funnily, the new Air Mouse mode addresses one of the last usability problems I have with Ready4, but it doesn't really completely fix the problem. When using the phone trackpad mode, the mouse cursor regularly disappears and flashes. It won't show you the animation of moving around the screen. It only shows you where your mouse cursor stops. Like, it's not animated properly. I often use Ready4 with a Bluetooth mouse or with one of my laptop docks, and when you have an external mouse, the cursor animates like it should. Now the Air Mouse animated beautifully, but the trackpad still vanishes. So I guess we can say there's always room for improvement. If you're spending a lot on a phone, it's silly how much compute power is in your pocket to do basic communication stuff. Desktop modes help make that performance more accessible. For a lot of people out there, your phone is probably more powerful than you really need to tackle the vast majority of your daily computer tasks. We just need the right software and the right accessories to use all that power. Have you noticed any other improvements to Moto Ready 4? What have I missed? Drop a comment down below this video and smash that bell icon on your way down. We should always want to get more out of our phones. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, all of that fun, supporting YouTubery stuff. Check out the home site, somegadgetguy.com, or join the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. This list is basically the coolest collection of tech pals in the universe, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy around the web, spending more of my time these days on the Mastodons and the Flickr is a little less so on the Twitters and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next video.